Hey, welcome to the Tom Rosa, and here is our year in review of our 2018 goals. Goal number one was finish the house. How do we do? I think we did really well considering we are now living in the house, and I think we mentioned previously that we were going to do the upstairs a little later. We're working on that right now. But we did move into the house uh, in April, and it has been amazing. I'm very happy. Goal number two. Cows. cows. How did we do? We have cows. Well, we use the uh, colloquial term for cows. Really, they're still heifers, but we got four of them in April, April. also. Mm -hmm. And they are doing well. They've grown a winter coat because it's cold outside, so they're all woolly. They are 10 months old and doing very well. All right, goal number three is 12. 12 is our 1971 Kenworth truck that we have been fixing up. How'd we do? And we're still fixing it up. <laughs> we, got, we did get quite a bit done this year, but overall, I would say slow but steady progress on 12. Uh, you know, winter time, it's kind of hard to work on it because it's outside in the cold. Uh, but it's a good time to order parts, so that's what I've been working on lately. Fowl. Fowl. How do we do? I think we did really well. We hatched out seven Coturnix or Japanese quail, and I kept them alive all summer, and they started laying eggs. I ended up harvesting four of them, which were male, and they were delicious. And then I had one female that broke her leg, so she was also delicious. And then the other two are still doing very well. We built a John Suskovich style chicken shelter and that became the quail hut. And then this winter we put on plastic and now it is the quail igloo. They're still giving us eggs and uh, looking forward to 2019 and doing more with them. We didn't start any other fowl this year uh, and so we are looking at that in the future as well. Our next goal was to have a garden. And how did we do with this one? I think we did pretty well. We grew potatoes. <laughs> Didn't quite get the whole kitchen garden that we wanted to get going because the spring really was busy with getting into the house and getting our dairy calves and so, but we did manage to get potatoes in the ground and they grew and we harvested them and we ate them. So that and is we, a... And we have a lot in storage. And we have a lot in storage. So that is a good starting place and we will just build on that. I would say garden is a success because we grew something that we can eat, even though it was just one thing. That brings us to our last goal, and that is Coast Guard retirement. And I am proud to say that I have submitted my application, and it was approved. And this time next year, I won't be in the Coast Guard. I, I, I'm going to check this. It is a success. <laughs> it is a success. I'm looking forward to the next chapter in our lives where I'm a full-time farmer. But I do say that I have really enjoyed my time in the Coast Guard. I really love my job that I do, my aids to navigation background. And so there are parts of it that I will miss. The next thing we're going to cover are... Our wish list items, which we didn't do so well on. We must have not been that great because we didn't get any of our wish list items this year. But we do have updates. So first, gooseneck trailer. Don't really need it till 12's running. I'm still very interested in getting a drone. I think it would be really fun to have to be able to get some really good shots, especially around the farm. We are now over a thousand subscribers. So one of the things we did decide to do is go ahead and make ads live on our videos again. And that money would go towards getting a drone. We're not looking to monetize our videos because we want to make a living off YouTube. We'd like to use that money to eventually buy a drone, upgrade camera equipment, and stuff like that. Our next wish list item was a back blade for the tractor. And we still really want one, and it will probably end up being this spring. Yes. So that got pushed to 2019. We did not plant any more trees this year. We are going to plant some more, obviously, as we keep going forward. We did, though, this fall kind of work on a landscape plan for around the house, so... We've identified where we want to put planters and trees and such. Next was the farm office. We were thinking about using our shack or slash shack tow 
we decided now to incorporate it into another structure which will be part of our goals videos coming out in January. So we did not do that this year, but we do have a plan for it. And finally, we had the Calgary Stampede, which we did not go to. So we did go to Canada. We went to Vancouver. As part of our anniversary. For a Corblund concert. You should check him out. He's got some good farming songs. He calls his genre agricultural tragedy. But since Stacy is still active duty Coast Guard, he actually had to get uh, approval from like Ottawa and fill out all these forms and it took like three weeks of paperwork so that we could go to Canada for one night. When I'm out of the Coast Guard, I don't have to do all that. And we can go to Canada anytime we want to. So we're going to wait until he's out of the Coast Guard and then we can enjoy it and not be worried about timing and paperwork. And go to Tim Hortons. Oh, I love Tim Hortons. So it didn't do so great on our wish list this year, but we did great on our goals. So what was the last item on our list? And we got Carly, and she has been an awesome farm dog, and it wasn't really planned. Just one day in May, we decided it was time to get the dog. And we went and got her from the Spokane Humane Society, and she has been an amazing farm dog ever since. So we're very happy to have our doggie. Very happy to have Carly. And it has made a big difference on our farm. Every farm needs a dog. What are some things that happened on the farm that were not part of our goals this year? You may notice something behind me, like an addition. We are not building that. Uh, Virginia's mother decided to move out to the farm with us, which we're very excited about. So she hired a contractor who is building a cottage for her. Another change this year was that this fall, I got a full-time job working as a receptionist at the vet clinic nearby. And I really like that. Of course, I take some time out of the day that I can work on other projects around the farm, but it's a good trade-off. I get a good community, some good friends, learn more about animal care, and, you know, extra money for the farm. Overall, I think 2018 was a success. We pretty much accomplished all of our goals. Uh, the wish list items uh, are still wish list items, um, but we're looking forward to 2019. We do have some things that we're still working on, as always. We are going to have a new updated 2019 goals video in January, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching us on the Tomarosa and following along in our journey. We have a very uncooperative filming s subject here. Evidently all she wants is belly rubs. I know what's going on. <laughs>